Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. The replace function in PostgreSQL SQL is used to search and replace all occurrences of a string with a new one. The PostgreSQL SQL replace function performs a case sensitive match when searching for the substring replaced. You can use this function to replace or update outdated text, correct spelling mistakes, or fix broken strings. Its syntax is as follows. Replace open brackets, source, comma, space, old underscore text, comma, space, new underscore text, space, close brackets. In this syntax, the source is the field or string where you want to replace the existing text. The old underscore text is the specific string that you want to find and replace. If the old underscore text appears more than once in the source, all of its occurrences will be replaced. Finally, New underscore text is the replacement string for the old underscore text. Let's use this function to replace a word on the string SQL space starter space course. In a new query window in PG admin, type select space replace space open brackets single quotes SQL in capital letters space starter space course close single quotes comma open single quotes starter close single quotes comma open single quotes beginner close single quotes close brackets semicolon once done run the script and check the output instead of seeing sql starter course the output shows the new name sql beginner course since we replaced starter with beginner Next, let's try to use the replace function to replace the email domain name in the employee table. In the query window, type select space replace space open brackets email comma open single quotes randatmal dot com close single quotes comma open single quotes secular dot org close single quotes, close brackets, space, as, space, email, space, from, space, public, dot, employee. Upon executing the script, the output will show the new email address of the employees with the new email domain name, secula.org. If you wish to apply the changes permanently into the table, you can use the update query which we will cover in the latter part of the course. PostgreSQL has the repeat function to create a sequence of a string in repetition. Its syntax is repeat in capital letters, open brackets, space, string, comma, space, count, space, close brackets, where string is the string or field to be repeated and count is the number of times to repeat the string. If count is less than one, the function will output an empty string. Let's use the repeat function in a basic example where we will duplicate the word hi five times. In PG admin, type select space repeat, open brackets, open single quotes, hi space, close single quotes, comma, five, close brackets, space as space repeat underscore greeting. Run the script once done. As we can see from the output, the repeat function generated a concatenated output of hi, which is repeated five times. Next, let's use the repeat function in the employee table to create a variation of the ID with zeros as prefix. In a query window, type select space ID comma space concat open brackets repeat open brackets open single quotes zero close single quotes comma five dash length open brackets cast open brackets ID space as space text 
close brackets, close brackets, close brackets, comma, ID, close brackets, space, from space employee. In this query, the repeat function is used with three other functions to generate a new field. Concat was used to attach the repeated zeros with the ID. The length function was also used to compare how long the rows ID was in order to get its difference from 5, which will let PostgreSQL know how many zeros to add. In addition, the cast function converts the integer ID into text to let us use the length function. This cast function will be further discussed in a separate video. For now, execute the script to generate the output. As we can see from the output, the repeat function added zeros as prefixed to the ID. If the ID only has one digit, it adds four zero, but if it has two, it will only add three zeros and so on. Upper function is used to convert a string into uppercase. It accepts any string expression or string convertible expression and converts it to an uppercase format. In case the argument is not a string, the user must use the cast function to explicitly convert it. Its syntax is upper open brackets string underscore expression close brackets. String underscore expression is the field or string to convert to uppercase. For example, let's display the employee name in uppercase. In PG Admin's query window, type select space name comma space upper open brackets name close brackets space from space employee. As we can observe from the two output fields, the upper function changed the letter case of each name from title case to upper case. The lower function is the exact opposite of the upper function, wherein it converts a string, an expression, or values in a column to lower case. The lower function takes in value with either all uppercase or partial uppercase values or characters and converts them into lowercase of the same type. Same as upper, if the expression has a non-string value, you need to convert it first. Its syntax is lower open brackets string underscore expression close brackets. Let's use the same query from earlier and change the upper function to lower. Once done, execute the script. The data output shows that the lower function converted all characters of the column name to lower case. Previously, we talked about upper and lower case, but another commonly used letter case when dealing with string fields is the title case. The string function that handles this type of letter case is the INIT cap function. The INIT cap function converts a string expression into proper case or title case, which the first letter of each word is in uppercase and the remaining characters are in lowercase. Its syntax is as follows INIT cap, open brackets, string underscore expression, close brackets, where string underscore expression is a string field or a text expression. Let's look at how it affects the scientific underscore name column of this animal underscore names table. In a new query window, type select space scientific comma space INIT CAP open brackets scientific close brackets space from space animal underscore names then run unlike lower and upper that changed the letter case for the whole string INIT cap only applied title case or uppercase the first letter for each string separated by a space looking at row one the second name Gerza became Gerza with a capital G upon applying INIT cap but the first name Colobus still looks exactly the same since it is already in the title case format. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And 
Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.